It's Friday, February 22nd, and we're recapping the sixth week of the 83rd Texas Legislature's regular session. I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas. The Texas Legislature meets on odd-numbered years for 140 days. So we're 46 days down and 94 to go. Representative Burnham's Freedom to Marry Bill, HB 1300, has an additional co-author, Representative Dr. Alma Allen of Houston, bringing the total number of co-authors to 11. Co-authorship is a way for lawmakers to add their name and prestige to a bill before it comes to the floor for a vote. By co-authoring, these 11 people are saying that they think we should have the freedom to marry in Texas. You can call your lawmaker and ask them to co-author HB 1300 too. If you don't know who represents you, visit this website to find out. Speaking of co-authors, Representative Juice Springer of Munster's HB 1568 was introduced with 18 of them, plus four joint authors, which is kind of like a super co-author. HB 1568 seeks to put a tax on local control by reducing state funding for school districts that offer benefits to the non-dependent household members of school employees, namely the employees' same-gender partners. Currently, only one Texas school district, the Pflugerville Independent School District, offers benefits of this nature. Now, Representative Springer has imagined some pretty interesting reasons for why this bill is needed. Uh, he said by a press release that our tax dollars are for educating kids, not for enacting policies that attempt to get the state to recognize homosexual relationships. Well, for one thing, Representative Springer, the type of benefit offered by Pflugerville ISD costs zero tax dollars. Zip. Nada. Zilch. The benefit offered to employees allows the employee's non-dependent household member to be added to their health insurance program. Then that person pays the premium and the deductibles. Not the school district, not the state, and certainly not you. For another thing, Local elected officials in Pflugerville decided that this benefit was needed so that they could hire and retain the best possible educators. The imagined grand cabal you fear is plotting an overthrow of the state simply does not exist. This was a business decision made by local officials who are in the best position to make local decisions. They don't need some politician micromanaging from his perch in Austin. Springer also said that, to think, Pflugerville has sued the state for more funding, while at the same time bankrolling a lifestyle most Texans do not agree with, is quite disturbing to me. To think! The Texas Constitution requires the state legislature to establish and make suitable provision for the support and maintenance of an efficient system of public free schools. The state legislature cut more than $4 billion from school bu schools' budgets during the last session. The schools view this as a violation of the constitutional mandate to fund schools. And in the end, the courts will decide. But, again, this has absolutely nothing to do with offering employee benefits to non-dependent household members, since that costs nothing. Oh, and Representative Springer, 66% of registered voters in Texas support extending domestic partnership benefits to government and public university employees. So if you think that most Texans disagree with this, you're just wrong. Representative Springer's feeble attempt to denigrate LGBT school teachers is far outside the mainstream of Texas values. He's pushing an extreme agenda, and he's threatening children in order to do it. If you live in one of the districts of the 22 joint and co-authors of HB 1568, and you're on our email list, you should have gotten an email from us asking you to call your rep and demand that they remove their name. Please contact them today. If you're not on our email list, then please go to equalitytexas.org and sign up. Equality Texas Lobby Day is March 11th, just over two weeks away. Space is filling up quickly, so if you haven't already, go to EqualityTexas.org, click on the Events Calendar tab, and then select Lobby Day to register. Lobby Day is one day out of the 140-day session when we flood the Capitol with LGBT people and their allies. It's all hands on deck. So if you can possibly make it to Austin, or if you're already in Austin, 
please make every effort to attend. Until next week, I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas.